My name is Eddie Glue. I'm a basket maker based here on the Staffordshire Derbyshire border. I'm growing a lot of my own willow. We've got a very local sustainable supply chain, only grown a couple of miles down the road. I have an acre which I harvest and coppice and sort and store. Willow growing is a job in itself, if I'm honest. The process from putting a rod in the ground all the way through to the finished sofa is quite labour intensive. The willow we're using for these sofas is called stripped willow or white willow, so that's the willow without the bark on it. It takes the longest time to prep. Soaking is an art. Because my tanks are outside, obviously the temperature changes and it does take longer when it's colder. The UK basket making scene is one of the best in the world. We're probably the epicentre of the basket making community. It was fascinating when Soam dropped round the original sofa, a beautiful piece made from cane. And the idea was how can we interpret that into willow using this new material for Soam. So that was the challenge. We've got a lovely balance between the cane and the willow. So the framework is all made still traditionally with the cane. So it's got that nice robust framework. Because these sofas are so big, it's quite a physical process using the willow. So we've got the biggest willow that we possibly can, which is eight foot, which are very heavy at the bottom. Every single rod is unique and different, has its own characteristics. So as you're weaving, you've really got to pay attention to what you're doing, making it all work, making it do what you want it to do. Furniture making is definitely a love, specifically this sofa, so it does incorporate lots of the techniques that I use in all of my basket making. So we've got lots of traditional techniques like the three rod whale, flat borders, fitching, the lattice effect. It's just on a much bigger scale. It's definitely the biggest piece of furniture I've made. The dapple bits that you see on the willow, they're the buds, so when the, the bark was still on, that's where the new growth would come from. Obviously we stripped the bark off, so you're left with these beautiful little signatures on the willow. None of them are the same, which means none of these sofas are going to be the same. Every single one is a unique piece.